Hi, we're back at Abby and Theo Reads. My name is Abby, and today we're going to be read The Biggest Pumpkin Ever. I chose this book because it, it was uh, Halloween past a few days ago. Let's get started. I'll see you later. Bye. The Biggest Pumpkin Ever by Stephen Kroll, illustrated by Jeannie Bassett. The Biggest Pumpkin Ever. Clayton, the house mouse, noticed it one day in the vegetable garden. It was still little and green, but Clayton thought he could make it grow really big. It may, might be even big enough to win the grand prize at Town Pumpkin Contest. Desmond, the field mice, discovered the same day. It um, discovered the pumpkin the same day. He thought it, that if he, it, he helped it grow, he could be, it could become the biggest jack-o'-lantern in the neighborhood. That afternoon, Clayton watered the pumpkin. He also mixed some fertilizer or manager and water. A manager and water. He also mixed he also spread the mixture all a mixture around the pumpkin to make it grow large. That very same night, Dad's mom went to the garden. He also watered the pumpkin too, and he also watered the pumpkin too. He also spread some manna manner mixed with water around it. The next day, Clayton watered again and the fertilize and fertilized the pumpkin again. The next night, Desmond did the same, and the pumpkin began to grow. By the end of the month, the pumpkin was so large, Clayton couldn't believe his eyes. Oh my goodness, said Clayton's mother, and it's not even full grown. Clayton shrugged. All I do is water it, he said. Clayton mother's, Clayton's mother whispered in his ear. If you want the, the pumpkin to grow fat, bigger and big, bigger, faster, she said, you should use sugar water. The not, that night, Dad's mom brought his brother Morris to see the pumpkin. Morris knew everything there was to know about growing things. That's some pumpkin, he said. Desmond shrugged. All I do is water it, he said. Morris whispered in his ear. You should try using sugar water, he said. The, the next day, Clayton dug a small hole besides a pumpkin bun. In the hole, he placed a, a bowl of sugar water. He cut in into the vine a few inches. The pumpkin... Um, from the pumpkin. In the cut, he put one end of the piece of candle wick. Then, he put the other in the bowl of sugar. That that night, on the other side of the pumpkin, Desmond did the exact same thing. Within a week, the pumpkin was twice the size it had been. Within two weeks, it was absolutely enormous. Clayton was amazed. He ran down the road and peeked into his friend Jimmy's pumpkin patch. The pumpkin Jimmy was growing for the contest looked much smaller. Clayton scratched his head. I have a very good contest, he said out loud, I, and I think I'm going to win the contest. That night, Desmond and his brother Morris spent a long time looking at the pumpkin. How do you think it got that big, Desmond asked. Morris dropped a little luck, a little skill. It's sure going to make some jack-o'-lanterns, said Desmond. It sure is. A week later, Clayton noticed the pumpkin was bigger. 
than the family car. During the day, he, everyone he knew came to admire it. At night, the field mice gathered around to do the same. By now, summer was almost over. Um, in a week, the pumpkin would be full grown and starting to turn yellowish and then orange. A few weeks after that, it would be ready, ripe and ready for the pumpkin contest. Clayton could hardly wait. The pumpkin was growing so fast, it would be so, it would be larger than his house. Then he would have had, then he had terrible thought. What if the pumpkin was so big? Um, if the pumpkin was so big, how would they get it to the contest? It won't fit in his little, in his red wagon. It wouldn't even fit in a truck. Layton decided to worry about this when the time came. That night, the weather grew colder. Thinking they, there might be an early frost, Clayton rushed out to the pumpkin with his blanket. And one that, um, one was not enough. Soon he was rushing back and forth, carrying all the blankets in the house. As he worked, he hummed a little song. And as he heard it hummed, he heard someone else singing. He began to realize that someone else was covering the pumpkin and blankets. Uh, someone else was covering the pumpkin with blankets. Desmond, beside too, had seen the danger of the early frost. He, too, brought, had brought blankets for the pumpkin. And he, as he worked, he sang a little song. And as he sang, he began to realize that someone else was working and humming. Clayton stopped humming. He put down the pile of blankets and peered around the corner of the, of the pumpkin. Dazamon stopped singing. He put down his blankets and peered around the corner of the pumpkin. The two of them bumped heads and fell down. You've been feeding the pumpkin, said Clayton. You've been feeding the pumpkin, said Dazamon. That's why it's so big. Said Clayton. That's why it's so big. Said Desmond. That they burst out laughing. When everything had been explained, Clayton said, "I know I'll win the contest if I can get the pumpkin to town." Desmond smiled. "I'll help you. Just let me carve it." the pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween that when the contest is over. It's a deal, said Clayton. A deal, said Desmond, and they shook on it. The morning of the contest was bright and sunny. Mice were bringing their pumpkins to town square, to the town square by truck, car, and wagon. Some of them were rolling along so some of them were rolling them along the ground suddenly suddenly they all stopped short over the field came the biggest pumpkin that anyone had ever seen it was being pulled by a hundred field mice on motorcycles When the pumpkin reached town, it was too big for any of the streets. Clayton had to explain why he couldn't bring it to the square. The mayor understood at once. He led the crowd to the giant pumpkin and put the prize ribbon on the side. Then everyone danced around it. Who would believe this, said Clayton as he danced. Who would believe this, said Desmond at the same moment. When the celebration was over, the hundred field mice pulled the pumpkin back to the field. The day before Halloween, they carved the best jack-o'-lantern ever. And
And on Halloween night, its wonderful smiling face could be seen from miles around. The end. Thank you for reading with me. I'll see you later at Abby and Thea Reads. Bye.